Good morning, everyone. This is Lucy Mwakaba of The Lead Child. Now, for the past few weeks, we've been talking about goal setting, uh, the different aspects of goal setting. We've talked about four do's of goal setting. We've talked about the importance of you being uh, consistent, uh, also the importance of you having an accountability partner. Now, today, I would like to talk about something else also to consider when you're setting your goals. So this is monitoring your goals now why is this uh, important for several reasons now the things i'm sharing are things that i've seen work uh, in my life in my own life i've seen them work also for the children that i teach the parents that i take through uh, several uh, classes and lessons that we do as the lead child so these are just tips they are tips in case you want more information feel free to reach out so monitoring of your goals is very key uh, reason being uh, it's a way of tracking how you're doing it's a way of self-evaluating whether you're actually achieving the goals that you've set or not now um how do you do this now there are different ways of monitoring your goals depending on whether they're short term or they're long term so i'll give you i'll give you an example of what i've seen work for me so for me because uh, the goals i've set uh, broken them down i am able to monitor them monthly so when the month ends i'm able to look back and see uh, was i able to achieve the things that i had set out to achieve what were the challenges that i faced and how can I overcome the challenges? Okay, so and how am I, am I able to do this very effectively? It's because I have a daily planner. So in the daily planner, I'm able to write down the things that I'm supposed to do, you know, the, the simple to do list. But the simple to do list actually um, is able to feed to whether the, it's a monthly goal or it's a six month goal or it's a longer term goal it is able to feed into that. So it becomes very easy for me to monitor and know where I am at. Now, why is this uh, very key? It's, it, it is a way in which you can uh, be able to gauge how far you've come. I'll give an example. Let's say, for example, uh, one of your goals um, as a mom is to ensure that uh, you are able to sit down as a family and eat dinner uh, maybe twice or three times uh, a week. This could be challenging, especially in the times that we are living. So if you monitor, maybe you, it's a goal that you've set um, that you like to see come to pass. If you look at the month and you're able to see, hmm, we were able to sit down as a family and have dinner together maybe once a week. Then you know that you have not reached the target that you want. And now you look back and say, okay, what are the challenges that have caused us not to be able to achieve this, you know, as a family, for example. If it's a personal goal, it could be something different. Um, it could be, let's say, you you want to go back to school. Let me use that as an example. You want to go back to school and you've given yourself, you've said um, in the next uh, month or two, I'll be able to enroll for either a master's, diploma, whatever, whatever it is. So if by the end of the month you know you look back and you'll see mm, uh no i've not been able to do this you're able through monitoring you're able to see okay what is the challenge that has caused me not to do this it could be that uh, the time is not right you know maybe you thought you'd have um, more time uh, from work or maybe you know family obligations have become too much or the finances are not allowing you to so you're able to 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 critically evaluate and see what is causing you hindering you from achieving what you want to achieve so again uh, doing all these things that you are doing will help you to achieve the things that you want to achieve especially if they're important to you so think about how you can monitor and evaluate your goals so that you are able to pursue whatever you are pursuing successfully. Thank you.